Hey, what's up everybody, and, um, welcome to my live stream, um, of, um, my Cap Captain America Civil War trailer discussion, uh, for no Numero Dos, um, so, to, for those of you who follow me at, uh, Austin Belzer, um, I was gonna do a video, uh, on this, um, but, you know, I, I tried doing it, and it ended up at 23 minutes, and then my camera started slowing down, so I figured, why not just save this to my camera roll, and then see where it goes from there, um, because I had a lot to say about it, so let me get my, uh, notes, as it were, because I took a lot of notes, um, so, and, and if you have any questions for me, um, that you think are relevant, or any feedback you want to give, sorry, I'll get out of the bright light, um, just pop down in the chat and let me know uh, if you've got any specific questions. So first, we start off with what may be a uh, Russian prison uh, for Hydra, uh, like an experimentation lab, um, which is kind of interesting because we've never seen the experimentation side. We've seen stuff on Agent Shield that kind of alludes to it, but not really in the proper film universe because, I mean, it's pretty much certain now that the MCU TV universe and the film universe are basically not one and the same, that they're, that they're kind of Elseworld stories, even though they have Coulson. Because, I mean, they're doing stuff on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that uh, you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> like, Inhumans uh, are a big thing on that. and The MCU is not ready for that until, like, what, 2020? Um, so, yeah, uh, but I also think this is where, um, because we see Bucky in here, um, I think this is also where Bucky goes to get brainwashed whenever he's, like, about to do a big mission or something like that. I know they had that bank vault, um, in the Winter Soldier, but, um, I mean, that was just more a quick rush job. This is much more calculated, like he's in a deprivation chamber and stuff like that. And I think, you know, I'll get back to this later, uh, within. Um, we also, um, get some shots from Avengers, the Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and the Avengers, uh, Age of Ultron. Um, so, uh, I, I definitely do like that they're going more the Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice route, even though I do think at this point it's going to be tired and, like, Oh, look at all the damage you did. Look at that, look at that. Uh, I don't, I think it's getting a little hokey. Um, I know only Man of, um, sorry, Dawn of Justice is doing this, but I mean, it's starting, when two films that are opening within two months of each other do the same exact thing of, heroes should be regulated, let's bring them to Congress, let's regulate them. It kind of gets tired, because I mean, do you have two types of film coming out within two months of each other, it, it just, just doesn't make sense, um, but for, for the normal movie going audience, it's like, hmm, homegrown terrorism, yes, it, it's good for them, but not good for me, uh, because I, I'd much rather them do the Superhuman uh, Registration Act than do, oh, you're just terrorists, okay, um, and then I have a question um, when it comes to this, and I'm I'm really gonna need your uh, chat bubbles down here because this is uh, gonna be a very controversial topic. So I I have the theory um, that General Ross Thunderbolt uh, Thunderbolt Ross is a part of Hydra. Um, so in the Winter Soldier, if you haven't. Uh, watched it by now, uh, what are you doing? That movie came out two years ago as of this, well, as of next month. Um, why have you not seen that? Um, so I'm gonna spoil a little thing in there, a little theme in there. Um, pop out if you don't want to hear it. Um, but there's a lot of government oversight in Captain America, so, uh, well, that too, uh, in The Winter Soldier. And, um, I'm thinking that Ross is kind of a remnant of Hydra because you can already kind of see it in The Incredible Hulk, the 2008 film, not the 2003 film. Um, you can kind of see how he could be swayed 
in that sense. Um, because also, he's part of Team Iron Man. Let's not forget that credit scene, which is canon, by the way, um, of Iron Man coming up to uh, General Ross and be like, hey, you want to join S.H.I.E.L.D.? But first you gotta give us Hulk. Give us the location of Hulk. But it's it's just a crackpot theory I have that Ross may be Hydra. So, it's a crackpot theory, but I'm putting it out there. Um, I could talk about Black Panther being at the UN, but as every comic book fan knows, that's not too significant of a shot. We know Black Panther is the leader of Wakanda. It is pretty much said... In the Age of Ultron. Don't really need to go over that. Um, what I do need to go over is the raft. So this is a big controversial point for me. Other than Spider-Man having a really animated suit. Um, so the raft is an X-Men thing. All right, It's a super, uh, super prison to hold super villains. Right? But when you make it about holding superhumans. It doesn't make sense. At, at the, even in the slightest. Uh, what happens when Ant-Man grows small and goes between your little metal bars? What happens then? Oh, oh well, uh, it's underwater so he can't escape. It's not like he's not impervious to water. He is still a human being. Uh, it, it, the reason why it works better in the supervillain sense is because they had force fields and stuff. Watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to see more of that, because it does exist in this universe. And don't try and tell me it doesn't, Kevin Feige. Even though you basically made TV and movie divisions separate. Um, but I, I, I just have a lot of problems with, oh, they can't get out. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Um, then War Machine dies. This is totally not, not a spoiler. Um... Because he's going to die. He's going to die by the Winter Soldier's hands. There is no doubt, no two ways about it. He is going to shoot some sort of surface air missile and take War Machine down. That's just going to be a fact of life. War Machine is going to die. That's going to be the thing that sets Tony off. You know, other than getting shot in the face by Bucky. Other than getting the UN blown up. Blown up other than the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron stuff, other than all this crappy crap that's happened to him, this is going to be the moment where he loses Rhodey and then he's he just snaps. And I'll get to what, kind of the display of his snapping later. Um, but uh, we get a really quick glance at what Spider-Man's apartment might look like. Um, and I, I want to say that this is Aunt May is in this film, um, so I'm thinking they're going more homegrown route with Spider-Man this time around. Um, they're not going to have him in the house. They're going to make it really realistic. Because, I mean, having Spider-Man in a home in New York doesn't make sense. Uh, that's the one fault I found with both Spider-Man franchise, Both Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man. Dude, unless you're like... A billionaire, you are not living in a house in New York. Doesn't make sense at all. Um, and I think he's just there to talk down Spider-Man because it's like, hey, I, I don't know you, but could you back off a little bit? And you can see he's kind of talking to Tony as well, so there may be like a direct feed into his eyes. Who knows? Um, like a camera eye thing. Um, so like a double pass-through thing. Who knows? Um, then Iron Man stops Cap, this, uh, evokes some rage, and it's at the same Hydra facility that we saw earlier in the, uh, trailer. So, I, uh, is, how early is this in the film? Do we know? I mean, this seems very, very early in the film, and if it, um, is later, then I'm, I kind of question, okay, well then... They're just now getting Bucky after all the UN's blown up, after they fight and all that. They're just now getting him. Doesn't make sense. Um, unless they just, like, leave him there. There's, like, a... Bye. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what's happening there. Um, let's see. Um, then we see Vision versus Scar Scarlet Witch. Heartbreaking for me to see, personally. Um, because Scarlet Witch and Vision make 
lots of babies in the comics. So I'm like, but if they do that, then they can't have babies. And something tells me that they're not going to go with that um, until like phase four. Uh, because we're in, we're going to be in phase three with Civil War. But I mean, she when she saw Sokovia, she was like, well, fuck. I didn't know that could still hurt, you know. Um, so I don't think she's emotionally available for the vision right now. Plus, she doesn't want she doesn't want that purple dick, does she? That'd be kind of weird, right? Because I mean, he's got like laser beams coming from his head, and she's got like magic hands, which may work. I'll just jerk him off a little bit. Um, and then a lot of people have been ranting and raving about the Ant Man writing the arrow scene, which. I'm like, okay, you could stop with all these hero shots. Don't have to be bellatiating every fan out there. I, I'd actually like it if you'd stop doing all these cool shots and made more like, uh, it's made much less of it like comic book, much more action oriented. But that's just me, though. That's just me. Um, then we get to see Crossbones, and this. Crackpot theory of mine, number two, um, on this trailer, um, fitting that this is the second trailer, um, but I think Crossbones appears when, uh, the Winter Soldier first appears, uh, when he's, like, hunting down Bucky and he's like, hey, a lot of people are looking for you, uh, I need to bring you in, but I'm not gonna, like, turn you in, uh, we're just gonna, like, I'm gonna protect you. Um, I think Crossbow inter intervenes and is like, no, you can't take Bucky. I've got Bucky, right? Um, and then Crossbones will have a pivotal role in this film. Just not the way people think. Just saying. Don't want to spoil the movie for you. Uh, not all of it, anyways. And then you have a callback to the first Avenger. A lot of people like this. I didn't. Um, because it's, uh, it, it sounded especially strange given that... The only Stark uh, Captain America knows of is Howard Stark, and he's dead. So unless he's unless like in this movie, just like oh yeah, Howard Stark's alive. I've been talking to him ever since I came back to the world. I'm like, what? That that actually be cool if he was like a mortal somewhere, like if he turned into like a human. But they said, oh no, he died in a car crash. I don't believe it. All right. Um, because there have been times where he's actually come back and been like, Hey, what's up, Tony? You're a total juice bag. You, you don't deserve my legacy. Bye. <laughs> um, but um, last moment I want to mention in this trailer is Spider-Man himself. Um, rather, some key things I noticed. So this um, confirms a lot of my wildest dreams about a, a young Spider-Man suit. So, it's very armored and slick-looking, um, although I've, I've seen subsequent photos of what it'll actually look like in his own film, and it's even more armored. So, I'm thinking there actually may be, like, two or three versions of the same suit, um, because the one I, I, I saw that was actually a photo, not, like, a concept art, uh, was, like, segmented armor, like, um... Daredevil has in the um, Daredevil Netflix show, um, which is kind of interesting because, I mean, why does Spider-Man need, need, like, segmented armor? doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think it might be prototyping for his Iron Spider costume, which it's totally going to get. I mean, come on. Um, that's totally going to happen. Uh, if it doesn't, I think a lot of people are going to be like, all right, that's kind of... He should have done that. Um, and then you see his eyes, his little camera eyes, um, contract and widen. So they're a lot like those notes we saw of concept art where it's like, they, we want it like a camera lens this time instead of just and like um, just stale eyes that you have to be very expressive through your mouth and the rest of your face about instead of just contract, open contract open it's a very simple idea everyone and um i know i've uh, a lot of people have been talking about the suit looks very animated this suit looks very cartoony now 
I think what a lot of people are discounting here is that this film does not come out for another two months. Um, VFX is almost certainly not done. VFX is done like the the month of. So this VFX will be done like April 26th or something like that. I, I If a little early, earlier. So this is not final footage. Um, none of this is. Um, in fact, some of it that we may see may get cut. Like that, uh, um, oh, what was it? Um, I can do this all day. You can probably cut that. You could probably cut a lot of the stuff out of the movie. But people want fan service, so we gotta give it to them, right? Right. Um, but I, I really like Spider Man. I have him as my phone wallpaper right now. Um, I can't wait to see. What he what he actually looks like when he comes on screen May sixth, um, I've I I can't wait to um, talk to you guys more about Spider Man. I mean he is, I've been waiting for this moment since two thousand two, um, and I I can't wait. I really really can't wait. So uh, if you're watching on Periscope, give me a quick heart before I leave. But if you're watching on YouTube uh, later, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.